guys will be providing remark today on behalf of our graduating class. Monica has had impressive career as a school of public health students. This is the kind of students we have. And again, uh, we are very proud of each and every one of them. She's an IU School of Public Health ambassador. She was president of Sigma Delta Tau sorority. Monica was on the dean's list all eight semesters. She received the Gad Every Scholar Award as well as the Ruth Russell Humanitarian Scholarship Award. Earlier today, Monica received her Bachelor of Science degree with the highest distinction in tourism, hospitality, and event management. Please join me in welcoming Monica. Wow. <laughs> Here we are at our college graduation. The time has come where we are the ones leaving the place that served as our home, the people who served as our family, and the university that served as our sense of identity these past four years. I am so privileged to speak to all of you today. What an honor, representing the graduates of IU's School of Public Health. Thank you so much to my family, to my classmates and friends, to Dean Tarabi, to our incredible faculty and staff, and to all the mentors who are here today to celebrate with us. We did it. It comes as no surprise then that while we looked forward to graduation day with great anticipation, we're filled with feelings of accomplishments and disappointments, joy and sadness, and excitement and fear. However, one thing is certain. We've all accomplished so much. And we celebrate those accomplishments all wondering, what's next? What will we become? How many times have you asked that question? What will it be like to work full time, to take care of ourselves on our own, to be away from family, to live a life with purpose and meaning, to succeed, and to leave behind those weekly tailgates in Waterlong Islands? It's okay that we don't know the answers just yet. It's okay to have no idea who we want to be and what impact we want to make on this world. Even though this feeling of unknown is scary, we should embrace it and the excitement and challenges that come with it. This is our opportunity to shape or reinvent ourselves, to discover who we are and who we want to be. This discovery is part of our own becoming, to become more, to make a difference, to give back, and to succeed. The next step in our lives will be different for all of us, but we are all bound together by one similarity as we enter the world. Change. An overwhelming and unbelievable amount of change. We've been experiencing that change over the past four years at IU, internally with ourselves and externally with others. That change will continue in the years ahead. Today marks a profound day for all of us, a day when we pass from one chapter to the next, from college life to adult life, and from student life to professional. We will pass through this next door with a common sense of appreciation for this amazing institution called IU. It's a place we've called home, a place where we've made lifelong friends, a place where we've shared new experiences, and a place where we've had the privilege to learn from an extraordinary and dedicated faculty committed to a common goal, the goal of our becoming. So, to my fellow graduates of 2015, I wish you the very best in your own becoming. To become more of who we can be, to become more of what we can be, and to become more of who the world needs us to be. Congratulations, class of 2015.